So in this section, I want to talk about how we can change things in the forest plot or in our meta-analysis. So the first thing we can change is the studies that we've included. So all you have to do is click on this button here and the studies removed. So you can see its influence on the summary effect measure. You can also move the, remove the whole subgroup. So you can see that I've removed the subgroup. That's only, you'll see though that the data are still available. So this is not the same as deleting it and it's just important to be aware of that. If you want to delete a study, you need to go over here and delete study data. So now the study is actually removed as opposed to just moved from the analysis. So that's one thing that you can do. Then there are a series of buttons over here which allow us to do some other information, uh, some other activities. I'm going to move this over so that we can see the odds ratio at the top here. And you'll notice also that we have the odds ratio at the top here. So this is the odds ratio which is a measure of association. We can change that to the risk ratio. Now the risk ratio is a different measure of course. One thing to notice is that when we did this we're back on the old scale. So we will need to change that property and this button here with the cogs which is the fourth button from the right which is where we would do that. So I'm going to click on that button and I'm going to go to the menu that says graph and there I'm going to find the scale. I'm also going to change this to vaccine and placebo. And when I do that later on you'll see that these have changed. See they've changed now and the scale has changed. And I can close that. So by clicking on this second button from the left all I do is change the way that we're measuring the outcome. So you see now it's the risk difference. Recall of course that it depends upon the study design if this is really a risk difference or a prevalence difference. Odds ratio, risk ratio, risk difference. Let's go back to the odds ratio. Now the next button along changes it between a fixed effect and a random effect. So what you'll do is you'll see that what's underneath the odds ratio is changing. So we can change the model using the fixed or the random effect. The second button as I've already shown you, uh, sorry the third button, from, fourth button from the left if you include this one, is a way to get the forest plot where you can save it, print it. This add as a figure, that refers to something within Cochrane so you don't really need to do that, it's not useful. If you do do it this is what happens, it ends up as a figure down here. Then the next button across is a funnel plot. So it allows you to make a funnel plot and so of course if you click on it, it will make a funnel plot. And so here you see we have the funnel plot and you can also see that it is split by the subgroups. So if you want to remove that, I don't believe it's possible, you would have to remove the subgroups. And if you remove the subgroups, the data goes with them, you'll have to re-enter them without a uh, a, um, a subgroup. So this will create a funnel plot and you can export this as you did before by clicking on the save button and deciding which format that you want to export it in. 
And then last but not least, there's the calculator, which we'll discuss in another presentation.